The next piece on today's program comes from the great musical tradition of the English cathedrals, a tradition from which the chamber chorale draws much of its repertoire. Alleluia, a new work is come on hand, was composed by the 20th century English composer Peter Wishart. Originally intended for use at Christmas, this festive anthem celebrates the joy of one of the most significant holidays of the Christian tradition.
be conducting our next piece entitled With a Lily in Your Hand by Eric Whitaker, who is a modern popular choral composer. The text of the piece is taken from a Spanish poem by Federico Garcia Lorca. The music presents the poem in two contrasting ideas, the upbeat fire section that begins and ends the piece, and the slower and smooth water section, which together bring to life the beauty and passion of the text. Isle of Innisfree, composed by chorale member Eric Twan and with a text by the 20th century Irish poet William Butler Yeats. Um, the text, like the setting, is very beautiful, but lush and also concise, with a theme appropriate for this remarkable city. The poem dreams of a tranquil life in harmony with nature, a dream that sustains the soul amid the frenzy of urban life.
In the early 20th century, English composer Rafe von Williams traveled the English countryside searching for and recording folk songs of the areas that he visited. The Turtle Dove is one such piece that he found from an innkeeper in Sussex County in southern England. The Turtle Dove was published in, uh, in 1919 and 1924, where Von Williams set a male chorus version and a mixed chorus version. This is the mixed chorus version. The piece follows the narrative of a traveler and his emotions that he deals with at his, as he leaves his loved one. This features bass, bar bass baritone soloist Chris Lewis. Whenever the chorale travels internationally, we always bring an arrangement of the famous American folk melody Shenandoah. The Shenandoah River, 